Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video. Today we have a uh, design on a YouTube background, I believe it's episode 4, not too sure. Uh, but today we're going to be working on a graffiti style. Now I actually posted this on Facebook and it received uh, 31 likes within uh, just under the hour reasonably. So, um, so that's a fair amount, so I thought obviously it's quite popular, maybe a few of you want it. Uh, so here's the tutorial, uh, this is going to be part 1. Uh, it's going to be actually creating the Cinema 4D text. Uh, the reason why I'm putting it into two is because the Cinema 4D text, I haven't actually made a tutorial on graffiti text within Cinema 4D, so I feel that can be a separate tutorial on its own for some people, and then the uh, actual secondary effects in Photoshop can be done uh, in addition to actually make the YouTube background. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking ahead. Uh, so let's get started uh, in Cinema 4D. Uh, I'm going to start off and I'm just going to put in some text. Uh, obviously, mode text. I'm going to type in Chrome. Like so, and the font is I'm going to use. I think it's called Raise One. Um, don't actually have a link to it, but uh, you can type it in. I think it's on Daffont or something like that. There it is, Raise One. Uh, so there's the font right there in its glory. You see, it's nice and graffiti style, nice and messy, uh, which really uh, suits the theme that we're going for. So uh, right now, we're trying to get an angle flat on the text. That works the job okay. Uh, before we actually get started though into making a camera go ren wrong one go render now edit render settings and I'm just gonna make it 1280 by 720 obviously changes the dimension so we can have to zoom out a little bit more there we go and when we're there we'll make a camera and this is basically going to be it uh, how we're actually going to be viewing the text uh, so that's fine as that part but we're going to untick so we can go uh, all around and really get uh, into the nitty gritty stuff um, so on the text we're going to make the depth uh, a lot bigger, I'd say about 175-ish, that looks good. Yeah, maybe make some materials as well, because you know, uh, materials are probably the funnest part of actually designing Cinema 4D. Um, but we'll go ahead and make dark grey slash black colour with a reflection of a brightness with 5% and add a Fresnel while we're there, we're about 35% reasonably and uh, while we're there we go specular lower the width down to uh, really low and just uh, crank up the height just to really get the uh, sharp glossiness going on uh, so we'll duplicate that by uh, holding command or control and dragging to make another copy and we'll make this one a nice blue color like so that's good for me and there we go so we'll apply the black on the text and followed by the blue on the text now we'll be getting like as you see on this preview, it's a black backing with like a border on the side with a blue front. So to do this, when you've got both materials on, select the blue tag up here and selection. We'll just type in C1, uh, ensuring that the C is actually in a capital. So if we go ahead and take a look, you'll only be able to see the blue because the background's actually black. Uh, nevertheless, you're getting the gist for the whole thing, like so. So we're doing better. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> so go back out. Uh, what we can do is. Uh, if you make a cap on the text, uh, fill it cap, fill a cap, like so, and you see this creates some nice edges on the text, uh, which really brings out some of the reflections uh, when we go ahead and add the lighting. Uh, so we're going to do the lighting now. Uh, one quick way I like to do, just add a plane, really basic, you know. Zoom out, and I just drag it over here, make it a little bit bigger, and just drag it above the text, like so. And make a new material for this. I'm going to take off color and just take luminance so a nice bright light. So it's pretty much acting as a soft box kind of thing. And uh, we obviously don't want this to be seen by the camera because that'd be pretty hideous. Um, so we'll go on the uh, right click on the plane, Cinema 4D tags, go to compositing and untick scene by camera. And if you render now, it's invisible. And uh, while we're there, we'll untick from this camera view. And we'll go Control C, Control V, duplicate the layer, and drag one to the bottom of the text to get some uh, quite even shadows. Uh, render it out. There we go. So you got it on the bottom and the top of the text. Well, that's looking good. Uh, one thing actually, uh, you see, it's on a black background, which uh, is. Not not handy because you can't actually see the reflections of like the the rest of the text. So if you just go ahead and make a background and render it out quickly, obviously it won't render like this, but you can actually see the full grasp of the text. Now that's actually looking quite good. Now that is literally it. 
mainly uh, to really enhance the graffiti look. You want it to be kind of rough. So go ahead and uh, select my text, go to MoGraph, Effector, and Random. And we'll apply the MoGraph uh, text in there just so uh, for tidy purposes. And random, uh, you can be untick position and uh, tick rotation, and then you just mess about with these at will, like so. Obviously, that you want obviously you want it to be able to be red, but uh, if you render that out, you see that's looking good. I don't like this R and the O though, so uh, I want to change that. And. Uh, Problem with it. Maybe I'm just being OCD. I don't know. Uh, no, that'll do. That'll be okay. Like so. And there we go. That's uh, nice random graffiti like text. Looking good. Um, maybe if we go ahead and go edit render settings again. And if we add global illumination, I'm going to take this to low as well just for this uh, preview. Uh, you'll be able to see this uh, brings out a lot better effect. Like so. You get more of the reflections. Uh, it darkens out a little bit, but certainly on these texts, you know, it picks out a lot more. Um, maybe one last thing in terms of lighting goes. I'll then take viewing from this camera, and I'm just going to go ahead and add an area light. Maybe uh, we'll see what this does. I actually did this in mind, but um, it might not work now. Make it a little bit bigger, and I'm just going to go ahead and rotate it just so it's facing the text. Obviously, maybe drag it back just a little bit more. And I'll make another copy of this and I'll drag it over there and drag it back over there. Really amateur way of doing it. Uh, but hey ho, uh, we'll go top view as well just so we uh, can get an alignment scheme as you see there. That is not aligned, so uh, we'll try and fix that. I'll move this one forward just a little bit, like so. And that's looking okay, I guess. So I'll go ahead and see what that looks like. Shall we view for the camera? Render it out. And there we have it, obviously it's a lot brighter, uh, probably something I'm not too keen on, so we'll go ahead and I'll take, crank it down to about between 30 and 40% within that region, and see what this looks like. And I think that looks a lot better. Uh, this text will be significantly improved in the Photoshop edit. Uh, if you're not actually looking to make a YouTube background, but you want to uh, pick up some of the second effects, you can actually just check out part 2, um, uh, which is actually going to be the editing of the background. and. Uh, will make it look a lot better, uh, but as far as that goes, that is almost pretty much it. Uh, one last query I have about this whole thing is if you look at this little reflection on here, you see it's nice and, well not nice, it's uh, jagged, which is not what you want, uh, especially for a YouTube background, uh, so it'll be like be able to see. So to change this, go to uh, this tab here, I'm going to change it to best from geometry and 2x2 two two to 4x4, four four, that'll do. I uh, should do anyway, and we'll render this out. It'll take a little bit uh, longer to render, uh, but as far as reflections go, it really enhances. It makes them a lot more crisp, a lot sharper. Um, so that should be good. I really want to pick out that bottom left bit. That's the bit that I'm looking for. And as you see, that looks a lot sharper there. So that's good. That is mission accomplished. I'll go ahead and render that out. And um, yeah, that's all from this part in Cinema 4D. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, I'll see you on the other side.